Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on wait, your wait, wait. tennis. Wait, wait, wait. I have breaking news. Oh my God. New V course. Blade, did you just get here from Tokyo, I Sacramento? I flew in, kind of, this morning. How oh, are you? Good. It's good to see you. Surprise, breaking news. My man Blade Blinham's in town. Let's see what's in the box. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today, since we just ran out for a split second and got us some coffee, uh, is Dominic. Dominic writes, hello, Harry. Enjoy your coffee. Well earned. What's your opinion on tennis sensors like Zep or Pop? Where did they go? Will software like Swing Vision rule it all? Best wishes from Germany. Wow. All right. So, thanks, Dominic. Thanks, Dominic, for the coffee today. Um, here's the thing, though. Zep and all those things fly by night, guys. You know, it's like, remember that smart soccer ball? Remember that smart basketball? Well, they got so smart, they left, just like these sensors. So, yes, the phone apps and everything else will probably rule because people don't like adding things to rackets too much. And then you have to download. We had firmware problems all the time trying to download the data into the phones. So, yeah, it'll probably be like a camera thing like a Swing Vision. Okay? But, you know, we'll see. Things are on the horizon. And, you know, better things will probably come, as they always do. All right. Thank you for the coffee again. If you want to be my coffee sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to support the channel and the content and the staff so they could eat. Super thanks is the way. Click on the link below. Thank you guys so, so much. All right. So let's talk about something that's not going away and, and actually thriving. So my man Blade is here, paid me a special visit. We're breaking news right now because we got new rackets mm -hmm. coming out. How soon? January 13th. January 13th. I want to yep. say right now because I'm just that excited. But it's the uh, the marketing release that I can do right now <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Blade. Well, first, thank you for letting me come down oh. and show off the new rackets. No it's problem. always fun. It's a great opportunity for our brand. And uh, it is. It's just a lot of fun coming down here and seeing you and doing these things. So, thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, without further ado, uh, we are introducing our new 7th generation B Core, set to deliver January 13th. And you have one of them right there, the 95. Obviously, a couple changes here. The cosmetic, we'll start with that. Um, as opposed to the last year's cosmetic, uh, a little darker, a little bolder, and a little cooler look, we think. Additionally, um, we added the red bumper guard and grommet sets oh. versus the, uh, the black ones. So it's a cool look. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. Even notice about that red top there. Huh. So in addition to the new cosmetic, we also did a couple design changes that are throughout the new models. The first one, and I don't know, maybe you can tell, Harry. Do you see any? Yes! Difference? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Yonex Lord. Number one change, 22 millimeter at the top. As you guys know, the one, the predecessor is 21.5, and it lost its guts. We're adding the guts back in, aren't we? A little we? bit, um, only at the top on the 95. So as in all of the new frames, we opened up the pattern. We're going back to our isometric roots somewhat. We opened it up, it's less oval, and by opening up it at the top at the 10 o'clock and the two o'clock position, you're opening up the string pattern. An open string pattern is going to give you more spin. So we did that on all the rackets. Um, so you can actually see that this is more flat. It's definitely. wider out here, yep. not as round. Huh. Precisely. Does that mean more control or more power? 
Well, that's going to mean more control. If you're getting more spin, definitely more control. Um, the added millimeter or half a millimeter in this frame, it's going to give you more stability. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's the first change. Um, by flattening out the beam, it's actually thinner on the sides here. It's more aerodynamic. Uh, in doing so, though, we did create that half of a millimeter more than 95. The 98 and the 100 also have increases in the width of the beam. So we got Robokina and we got Shapovalov here. Yep. Which rockets do they use? Um, well, Shapovalov is going to be in the 95, I believe. Um, I'm not quite sure what she's going to be playing with yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, I, I've strung his rocket before. So yes, cool. I know what he uses. Um, uh, the other change we made at the 12 o'clock and the six o'clock positions in the racket, we added a grommet system that's infused with silicone oil. Uh, so that's going to give you greater snapback, quicker snapback, and better response. Yep, down below and up above. I could feel it. Yep. Also change the shape of the shaft for more stability. Um, some minor changes really, but very, very significant. The challenge with coming up with a new generation of a racket um, is to improve it and to enhance that experience that v -Core players like already in the racket. We don't want to compromise the integrity or turn them off of a new generation. So I think we accomplished everything in this round. Great looking racket, uh, still flexible, great for spin, little extra s stability um, and some added comfort and power. So this is the one I'm most excited right. to try. Right, that used to be your favorite. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, so yeah, we're going to move on to the 98. One racket of the year, in my opinion, was the, uh, the predecessor to this. So what improvements have we done here? The same improvements as the 95. We did add the half a millimeter up at the top, mm -hmm. but that's the only position on the 98 as well as the 95 that we changed. Um, same great features. I should also add that we kept the VDM, the vibration dampening mesh, in the handles of all of our RV core rackets. So that technology is going to carry over. So that's a dampening system in the handle that mm -hmm. takes out vibration shock. Yeah. Okay. Um, not all of it, because a lot of players still like to feel something mm -hmm. and have some kind of feedback, um, but slightly more muted than, say, the E-Zone family. So 23, 23, 21. 23, 23, 21 here. So the flex is going to happen here. This is going to firm up a little bit here. Precisely. Yeah, for added stability. Okay. So, hmm. The best got better? The best got better. That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about the 100. Again, same technology, the same new additions. We kept the old ones, the old tech. Uh, in this racket, the 100, you'll see definitely more of a beam width change at the top and at the center. Uh, I think we're at, what, 23.5 or 25.3? 25.3, yeah. yeah. So that's another whole millimeter and a half. Again, don't let that scare you. It's still a flex racket, uh, but it's, it's offsetting some of the changes we made there for more stability. Right, so we got 23 point, excuse me, you got me saying it now, 25.3, 25.3, and then right here is where we thin out at 22. Flex story, mm -hmm. firm story. Mm -hmm. so and when you spin story. Spin story, right. This has always been your spin line. Yep. So we got, it almost looks like a wide body now at 25.3 here. So we're going to gain a little bit of power with our spin. Um, yeah, I think so. It might be a byproduct of the, of the tech and the innovations we made. We didn't add any mass. It's still the same weight mm -hmm. um, as all the rackets are. We didn't change the specs whatsoever except for that beam width. These three frames, they come out January 13th. The other one is the 100L. Now, this one's going to come out in March. Oh, okay. Yep. Again, same tech, same additions, same design shape. Um, your, your beam width is going to vary on this one as well. Yeah, it's the same as 25.3, 25.3, 22 in here. Um, main difference is the weight, Tw 280 grams unstrung, which is 9.9 .9 ounces. So this is for the ladies, the kids? Um, ladies, transitional junior players, perhaps. Um, it's a nice frame. I, I swung all four of them when we were testing our frames uh, down at our, um, our warehouse in corporate last month, and 
they all felt really great. Um, great power with this one. Again, the 95, my favorite for control. I can swing away. Um, it gives me a little extra help, I think, with that extra half a millimeter up there and the stabilization down through the throat. Um, yeah, they're great frames. The V-Core 100 and the V-Core 98, they're in our top four sellers, just slightly behind the E-Zone 198. So they do well. They're hugely popular. Um, and I think, I think we hit the mark on this one. So again, V-Core is your spin line. Yes. So it competes with other rackets that are spin friendlier? I'd say so, yeah. I think ours is very unique and one of our distinctive and patented features, again, is the isometric shape. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who aren't familiar with isometrics, it allows our sweet spot to go up higher and lower on the racket. Most players hit center and above. Mm -hmm. So by opening that up, we've given ourselves a better chance at a better result. Perfect. So I'm excited to try these rackets. Yeah. Too bad it's a rainy day. I know. <laughs> I was all geared up. <laughs> I was going to just hurry up and string one of these rackets and drag blade out, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen yeah, today. Not today, I'm afraid. I guess it'll happen another day, but thank you, Blade Bynum, for... Oh, one more thing. Uh oh, um, more breaking news. That's right. So most of the retailers um, are receiving their demos early. You're going to be getting demos December 13th as most retailers in my territory. So if you want to try out these rackets before they actually launch, then contact your retailers and get out there and give them a try. Oh, wow. No pressure, retailers. Get them strung because they're going to be asking for them. That's right. <laughs> All right, Blade. Thank you for Thank making you. the trip down. Thanks a lot. I appreciate, appreciate you. Yeah, me too. Thank that, you, everybody. That was breaking news with my man, Blade Bynum from Tokyo, Sacramento, and these new V-Core rackets. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Well, this could be it, Harry. Oh, Harry, great contact. Now, the idea, Harry, is we need it to land in the blue. I know you're kind of starting out here. Let's try it again, Harry. Somewhere in the blue space on the other side of the net. Um, Harry, that's a great shot. I think you even hit it on the blue on court three, Harry. It's okay. I, I didn't really specifically say our court. I just said blue. So job well done. Let's try again. Keep it in our space on our court. This says number one. Here we go, Harry. Give it a shot. Oh, Harry. No, I didn't say hit the number one. Want a coach with positive energy like Coach Rob? Find what your game is looking for at playyourcourt.com. Oh, Harry, you swung and missed. I bet you can watch the ball a little longer. Try to keep your head still. Oh, Harry, nice try. 